Today we're going to be talking about how to have more energy to go and make your shit happen. A lot of people are saying, well, I've got to go to work, I've got to do all this stuff, and then by the time I get home, I don't have any energy left to go and work on my projects. Firstly, there are a lot of ways to get more energy, but I'm going to be referring to one method in particular. This is the one that I think that a lot of people love a look, and I think that it's probably the most significant one. And, and for, the, for the sake of the lesson, I'm going to use a little metaphor. Here it is. We're going to talk about energy in terms of fucks. A lot of people have very little energy to go and do things because they're just scattered with how many fucks they're giving to dumb shit. So here we go. This here represents your fuck tank. And there are only so many fucks you can possibly give. You have a finite number of fucks. And so first things first, most people have to go and work. They have a job, which, look, that takes up a lot of their fucks. So every week, a lot of their fucks are exhausted because they give more of a fuck about going and making their thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars a week than they do on their on their project. They put that as the first priority. Well, I got to go to work, or else I don't get my little paycheck, and then I can't work on my things. That's more of a that's more of a priority to them. They give they give more of a fuck about that, and then they then the boss asks them to do overtime and stay back late, and they give more of a fuck about him. So they go and do the overtime because they give really they give more of a fuck about that than actually working on their own thing. And then when they get home, they got family obligations and they really give a fuck about that. So they got to spend more fucks over there. And oh, then we got to go and socialize and more fucks get expended out here. So after they've given everything to the boss and the job and the overtime and the family and the friends and socializing, then there comes in weddings, engagements, presents, parties, all the stuff, all the stuff that pulls them away from doing their project. Then we get into the fears. Oh my God, what's my mom going to think? And what's my dad going to think? And what if I fail? And they, every fear that you have is a fuck. You're just giving it out. What if it look bad in front of this person and that person? And just, you're expending all your fucks. There is a tremendous amount of brain power that goes into thinking about your fears. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this? And oh, golly gosh. And then you're, you're brain fogged away. And you just realize you just spent 40 minutes wondering what if. That's a lot of fucks to give away. You're spending a lot of fucks on that. And then by the end of it, you're kind of like all fucked out. You're flogged. You got no left. You got no more fucks to give to your project. The one thing that is your bloody thing, you've just given it away to everyone else. Fuck that. So if there's one thing that's made a really big difference in my life, look, I wasn't the smartest kid in school. I didn't get good grades. I was a little mutt, really. I didn't have much of anything going on for me now, come to think of it. But one thing I did was I found out what I want, and everything else can get fucked. If you go and ask people who were my friends, people who are in my family to this day, they'll, they'll say, Lewis is a bit of an asshole. He doesn't reply. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't participate in doing presents and Christmas. I don't do any of this shit. I focus on my own thing. I was conserving fucks. And interestingly, when you do that and you have a mission that's really important to you and you conserve all the fucks and you just put it into one thing, you empower yourself in a way that, funnily enough, everything else gets taken care of. The replies, the meetings, the presence, the engagements, everything now is taken care of. You just focus on the one thing, everything else sort of fucking falls into place. It's like, a, it's like you value you and everyone else just sort of respects that and they play along with it. So make a conscious effort to find out where you're spending all your fucks every week and just be, be aware that the areas of your life that you're gonna go and spend them all are the areas that are gonna continue to grow. So if you wanna shut up, you mutt thing. I think that's the end of the lesson. Was there anything else that I had to say? No. I am, by the way, making some videos for you this week. If you haven't subscribed to the Dose of Knowledge newsletter, my free weekly newsletter that comes out every Wednesday, swipe up, go and do that. It's just now, hello, hello, hello. We got Robbie, Sarah, Julian, Julian! Say wave, say wave. <laughs> Benny Lane, JVH, Alira, the, uh, the, the elusive Alira, she exists. Say hello, say happy birthday to Julian. Happy birthday, Julian. Say hello, say hello. Look at these bloody lads. They've found a bed at the at the bar. They're not gonna sit on these uncomfortable motherfuckers.